from your most watched, most trusted weather source. Today is a first alert weather day. Had heat advisories today, we'll maybe see some areas and already have been upgraded in some areas to excessive heat warnings for tomorrow. Otherwise, more heat advisories all the way down to the coast, including the outer banks as well. So this heat wave, while maybe not around forever, it's going to be one that we're going to notice that the heat and humidity a little bit higher than our typical summertime heat. We still get these heat waves, but uh, this summer has been a little bit warmer, a little bit hotter than some of our past summers. 107 in Greenville, 103 in Goldsboro is what it feels like, 100 in Beaufort, 111 in Oriental. That's kind of the heat where you step outside, you don't drink water, you can quickly start to see your health go downhill. So make sure you're just taking all those precautions and just being careful in this heat because it does not take long to see issues. And even overnight, 9 o'clock, temperatures may be in the mid 80s, but it still feels like the mid 90s, even close to 100 still in some locations. 6 a.m., 70s feel like 80s, 80s along the coast feel like 90s. That's the type of weather where your body just can't cool off, especially if you have poor circulation in your house, maybe not enough air conditioning or no air conditioning. It just doesn't give your body time to relax before we start to see the heat flare up again. By 2.30 tomorrow, feeling like anywhere from 105 to maybe up to 115 in some areas. That's why we have those excessive heat warnings, but we are expecting some shower and storm activity at times that maybe can help out with that heat. Same thing on Saturday with increasing cloud storm chances. 3 o'clock, most of us below heat advisory criteria, so we may drop Saturday from the first or weather days, but still want to get a little more data in before we make that call. So far today, any rain's been isolated and really over the same areas down towards the uh, Pungo River and the Pamlico River. Do have one little stationary downpour outside of Gum Neck there at the southern part of the Alligator River. A lot of the shower activity there from Bellhaven down to Pamlico County is starting to fizzle out a little bit and even a little bit of rain for the Outer Banks. They've been a little bit drier than a lot of our inland counties thanks to uh, all the rain we've had over the past two weeks. Here's our disturbance. This is going to be tracking west towards Florida and probably hangs out in Florida for a while. Looking a little healthier. Could have a depression as early as tomorrow and tropical storm chances still not too high, but it could happen as it passes through Cuba into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Chances uh, up to 30% over the next 48 hours, seven day total 70%. So it's possible we start to see this develop, but I think it's going to take its time and really just going to be impacting the Caribbean and Florida. Meanwhile, our rain chances kind of come from other showers and thunderstorms. We'll have a front to our west, but as this kind of sits in Florida through the weekend, we get into early next week. It's not here, but we start to see a lot of tropical moisture and downpours sent our way. So weekend plans look OK. It's going to still be some stormy weather, some rain at times, but wouldn't cancel anything. Anytime we have a 60 percent chance of rain, especially on Saturday, you can still find some drier weather. I think Saturday night into Sunday may be our best chance for widespread rain, but still could find some drier locations. Just may be a little bit cloudier on Sunday. Notice rain chances stick around in the next week. If we get anything tropical, which it's going to be a little bit later than expected, instead of coming directly up the East Coast, may sit in Florida through the weekend and then start to slowly move north as we head into maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, or even later than that, depending on how long that system kind of gets stuck down off the coast of Florida. So really, as the days continue, we'll get a better idea of what next week will look like. We will, and it still looks like a generally weak system. Mm -hmm. I know depressions and storms can still cause some issues, but right. Really heavy rain and probably some rough surf could be kind of what we're watching for next week.